Choose your character. All right. So coming also out of Texas is some information from Ted Cruz about loose morals or something. What is that? Well, the junior senator from Texas made the news again this week, this time because, because, because he has some thoughts about Disney characters. We like to give people an opportunity to say things in their own words. So let's go ahead and hear what Ted Cruz himself has to say. I think there are people who are misguided trying to drive, you know, Disney stepping in saying, you know, in every episode now they're going to have, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, Mickey and Pluto going at it. Like, <laughs> really? Thank you. for Now the people he's talking to are super conservative activists. That oh image, Senator. You know, but it's just like, come on, guys. Like, like these are kids, and and you know, you could always shift to Cinemax if you want that. Like, so this is not being done in Disney programming whatsoever. It wasn't until recently that Disney even had R-rated programming. So when he says going at it, he's just outright lying, being exaggerative for maybe political effect. But what is actually being talked about here? Well. We'll let him finish, and then I'll say it. Like, like, why do you have... It used to be... Look, I'm a dad. Like, you used to be able to put your kids on the Disney Channel and be like, all right, something innocuous will happen. I, I so what this is actually being discussed here, and we should not make any mistakes about it, is that what they are talking about is the introduction of gay, bisexual and probably I think there's some trans characters in some children programming. And that happened after uh, you know, the last five or six years or so. And the reason that happened well, it's thanks to the grand old free market that Ted Cruz loved to hate or loved to love until he loved to hate it. And so what we are seeing here is that there is more inclusive programming being brought to the Disney Channel. And that is causing conservatives to get their feathers and feathers ruffled. Get them to be like, ew, gross. We can't have that. Never mind the fact that pro children, Disney's children's programming, since its foundation, had heterosexual relationships and relationships between animals and all sorts of other stuff on the screen. And even at times, let's not let's be real here. At times, some uh, hidden adult humor <laughs> in it. Uh, there's the uh, the scene from Beauty and the Beast where uh, the the maid. Um, after they turn back into humans, the maid walks by and does the little feather duster in the candlestick's face. And uh, well, that was an and that was an innuendo because that was her underskirt when she was a feather duster. It's things like that, right? And they didn't have anything to say about that at all. But by golly gee, if there's gay people on the screen, I can't let my kids watch that. What if they turn gay? They're not going to turn gay. They might think being gay is okay, but you can't change someone's sexuality that way, man. Maybe this is why we should teach sexuality in school, so you would actually know something that you're to talk about. But that is what we are seeing here. It is outright propaganda and outright culture war bullshit that is coming out of Republicans in order to gin up their base, in order to vote for them, so they can continue to give tax cuts to the wealthy. Or tax cuts to the wealthy and also actually believe this nonsense. There's there's reasons to believe that Ted Cruz himself might be a dominionist and a lot of people within the Republican Party on the upper leadership and their donor bases are also fundamentalist Christians in that regard. So this is what we're kind of seeing coming out of the uh, the places and things that we are seeing here. And but we have more stuff to talk about. So continuing on with political theater. Let's go check on Florida's governor's Ron DeSantis and see what he is up to this week. Settle in because this is going to take a minute and we're going to continue on with Disney stuff because Disney has entered the cultural war. Everybody choose your character, Republicans or Disney. All right. So following Ted Cruz in the battle against the woke forces of Disney, Florida lawmakers voted to strip Walt Disney World of its ability to basically self-govern its properties. This marks the largest, the, or the latest development in the war between state Republicans and a company over legislation known by critics as Don't Say Gay. Disney has enjoyed a special taxing governance district since 1967 to act as a county government for Disney. 
It handles services such as power, water, roads, and fire protection. The districts could even build a nuclear panel plant if it wanted. The Reedy Creek Improvement District landowners, primarily Walt Disney World, has been responsible for the cost. The legislation would sunset Reedy Creek by June 2023 unless the legislature reauthorizes it. Disney has long had privileges in the state that no other company has in Florida, including its competitors, said Republican State Representative Randy Fine, a leader in the legislation effort. And some provisions in the district cater uh, charter are nuts, such as the right to create its own nuclear power plant to take land and to take land outside of the district. The legislation passed without debate because of a protest Democrat staged on the House floor over the redistricting maps. Now, Disney will need to decide over the next year if they want to reconstitute Reedy Creek, working with members of the state legislature, Fine said. He said he's open to that discussion, but with limitations. Quote, they're not going to get the right to build a nuclear power plant, Fine said after the vote. They're not going to have the right to take, you know, other people's property without their consent. Look, we treat all guests to our state with respect, you know, assuming they share the same back, he said. Some of these things are actually not bad, right? Uh, the ability to build a nuclear power plant, probably Disney shouldn't have the ability to do that. Being able to do eminent domain without the state legislature stamping in or having any conditional court oversight, yeah, that's not cool either. So these are things that were a long time coming, but it's kind of curious, isn't it, that just now, Republicans are wanting to wanting to be able to say these things and do these things. So curious, right? Couldn't be anything that we've just talked about, could it? No, it very much is. So a Disney spokesman did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the bill's passage. Now, DeSantis who, make no mistake, is a potential pres Republican presidential commander. Everything he's been doing over the last, well, come on, watch, uh, uh, seven months has been a bid in order to generate political buzz for him personally on the national stage. Had called for the passage of legislation this week during a feud with Disney over the company's opposition to the parental rights and education legislation, which DeSantis signed on March 28th which is that don't say gay bill. Now, opponents of the law call it the don't don't say gay because it bans classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender 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 on gender identity in grades K through 3. But more importantly, in any manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate. This is not defined at all. The description is very vague. And it is designed to lead to unnecessary legal wrangling because it gives parents the ability to sue school districts for violating the spirit of the bill. By keeping it vague, you open the bill, you open up school districts all across the state of Florida to being sued over a parent not wanting their kid to even know gay people exist, to know that uh, to have proper safe sex, that sex is even a thing that transgender people are even a thing. And so if this is talked about in school at any level, some parent is likely to become an activist and sue state sue the teacher and the school board for it. Rumors are already circulating that a teacher had been already sued and the district is already in the process of being sued for wearing a shirt that says protect trans kids. That is what is being done here. They are trying to use the force of law to enforce their own religious ideology onto the rest of us. So, yeah, continuing on, though. So Disney CEO Bob uh, Kapek announced in March that the company would halt donations to political campaigns in the state over legislation and donate five million dollars to LGBTQ groups instead. That is what this is really about. They turned off the money trough. So now Florida is going to come in and give them a whole soccer. All right. So now DeSantis has attacked Disney as a quote unquote woke corporation for opposing the legislation. The Miami Herald warned Wednesday that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is taking a page from the disgraced former President Nixon's book with his tack on Disney. An editorial in the Herald condemned DeSantis for his push as a, quote, act of pure vengeance, because it is, and the stuff of Richard Nixon and his enemy list, 
it is it is an analogous to it. The, the Herald went on to say, quote, it's clear the governor has been nursing a towering grudge against Disney ever since the company had the nerve to listen to its employees and belatedly, but rightly, speak out against the don't say gay bill by withholding political contra- campaign contributions in Florida, the skating editorial said. DeSantis is, quote, using the levers of government to crush his enemy. And his claim of simply trying to eliminate pre-1968 special taxing districts doesn't pass the smell test because it is a pernicious missile strike aimed at the entertainment industry or company. I mean, at this point, industry actually works. Because, hey, they turned off the money trough, so that means they're going to go fighting, right? So the editorial continues on to say back in 1971, Nixon's list had 20 names on it. Over the next few years, it grew to 576 names. We all know how that ended, the newspaper concluded. Now we have DeSantis, DeSantis frightening misuse of political power as well. It must stop here, and that starts with lawmakers stiffening their backbones. Today it's Disney. Tomorrow, who knows? And there's no reason to believe that tomorrow, who knows, is hyperbole. Now, the move could have local uh, counties with more than $1 billion in liabilities and increase, increase taxes on local residents as well. And in the same vein, though, 